If you have ever watched a chess tournament, then you probably know this man, Yasser Serawan. He's a famous commentator in the chess world and has a genuine passion for chess. But when making this video, I really wasn't aware how much Yasser is loved in the chess community. So I compiled everything into this video, from his interactions with fans and players, all the way to his most memorable stories. Like this one, for example. So the guy, he's got his dream job. He's a DJ of the radio station. Sure. First day on the show, he's taking requests for music. A 90-year-old woman, elderly woman, calls and says, could you please play the song Two Lips and Seven Kisses? And of course, you know, the guy realizes this is a joke. And his, his mates have called, you know, called called up and you know playing games with him and he says I'm sorry uh, uh, I don't have that but I have two balls and seven inches <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the lady's very confused she goes excuse me is that a record and he goes no but it's better than the average <laughs> Yasser is known for his stories, whether he is commentating on a match or talking to people. He always finds the perfect thing to say. But a lot of people really don't know that Yasser has been in the chess scene for quite a while. He was the four-time US champion during the 80s and even then, he used to show up in television and try to teach people chess. Young Yasser had a great way of explaining chess to a beginner. He talked slowly and made sure to touch on things that often beginners struggle at. But he also did a lot of chess analyzing for the more experienced players. Like, for example, here we see Yasser analyzing the match of Kasparov against Deep Blue. Up until then, grandmasters like Yasser were very valuable because engines were not yet good enough to properly analyze moves. Since we mentioned Kasparov, funny enough, Yasser's career as a commentator started in the 1990 World Championship match between Kasparov and Karpov. But Yasser was different from other commentators. He made chess fun to watch. His charismatic personality and his ability to make the boring parts of chess interesting are what allowed him to have such a long career of over three decades. To really grasp how many years that is, 15 years ago he even interviewed 15 year old Magnus Carlsen and in 2023 he was still here to joke about Carlsen's out of control hair. I like the report from Anastasia on the social media the other day that Magnus wasn't recognized <laughs> and he couldn't clear through security. <laughs> His his standard uh, pickup line, hi, I'm Magnus Carlsen, didn't work, I mean. Yasser has always laughed and cracked jokes whenever he could. This is why most people just remember him smiling at this point. He is a positive person and on a Reddit post, people commented about their experience with Yasser off camera. I tried to find any questionable interaction, but I found none. Everyone that has met Yasser has had a great time with him. This comment really made me appreciate him even more. I met him twice, both in St. Louis. The guy was one of the nicest people I've ever met. I asked him if I could get a picture, and he obliged with a big smile, and even took time to briefly chat. He signed a program for me too. The next year that I went down, I brought a copy of Play Winning Chess to ask him to sign. Again, he was happy to take a couple minutes to interact and seemed genuinely happy to do so. Yasser loves talking to people and he remembers a lot of the conversations. That is why he has so many funny stories like this one. Lubash Kavali comes up to me and he's got kind of this look of concern. And I go, Lubash, what's going on? And he said, I think they've changed my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> it was US State Mongolia. I go, what? He goes, I'm not playing the guy who started the game. <laughs> <laughs> the Mongolia team has changed my opponent. And I go, well, well, well yes, that's correct. And Lubar says, what? So I said, yeah, yeah, yeah that, 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 that's usual. He says, what? I go, yeah, they have an opening expert, <laughs> a middle game expert, an end game expert, and then they bring in the guy who resigns. <laughs> It's a four-man team! <laughs> 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 the watch walked away shaking his head. 
What's even funnier though, is that Yasser never seems to run out of stories. Some guy even compiled like 40 minutes of Yasser talking about Bobby Fischer in his lectures or interviews. Yasser is the type of guy to make everything positive and lighthearted, even when there are literally two grandmasters fighting in the background. Or when he got asked this awkward question in which he replied with full honesty. Not even close, Gary Kasparov. Everything you see on camera is everything you are going to get when you meet Yasser Sarawan, and that is why everyone in the chess community loves him.